is long overdue, but I've got another haul for you. So it's no surprise that one of my favorite plus brands is Iloquai. And they had a sale a couple weeks ago and I went, click happy, like I do, like I do. I like to shop. So I got a couple of pieces, which I'm gonna show you guys today. And I'm really excited about them. The reason I love Iloquai so much is I was reading about plus size brands as I do all the time because I like to know who I'm buying from. And the head of marketing said, well actually it was the head of design, she said something along the lines of, I'm not a plus size woman. So when I enter and think about designing, I don't limit myself to what I think are plus size silhouettes. So that is really consistent in their line. They are introducing a lot of different new styles and silhouettes to the plus market that you just don't see a lot in other you know brands. And I don't dislike other brands, I just like that, that Iloquois seems really fresh and everything they bring seems to have a new kind of playfulness and, and different approach that you often don't see in other plus size brands. So I'm gonna get right to the pieces I purchased and then again, we'll try them on for you. So the first item I purchased is this long kind of tunic-like thing. It's got a nice little piece of hardware right here in the front. So it's like your uh, chest got a piercing, I don't know. And uh, it's in a royal blue and I got it in a 22-24. Now I have really big hips. Sometimes these things work for me, sometimes they don't. I mean, it's the curse of a super pair. You never know if a tunic like this that's non-stretch material is actually gonna work with your assets. <laughs> so we'll check it out and see. Then I have this lovely dress which I'm so, ooh, man down, man down. Just a hanger, we're good. We're gonna keep on going. Then we have this amazing, <laughs> Then we have this amazing orange dress. Now the reason I bought this dress is I'm going to a conference in a couple weeks and the theme or like the color scheme of the conference is orange and I was like, well, of course I need an orange dress. So this is a simple kind of cap sleeve ruffly thing off the shoulder orange dress with a sash around, oh it's not even staying on the hanger, um, with a sash that goes around the waist as such. So again, just a mid length to the knee. And as you can see, this is really off the shoulder because I did not want to stay on the rack. Bad dress, bad. Anyway, um, I'm really excited about this piece because orange is actually my favorite color. So whenever I can find a great piece in orange, I'm all over it. I'm like, gimme, 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 gimme. Then I felt like my wardrobe needed a couple basics that were more professional. So I found this great white tie shirt. It was on the clearance section. I think I paid like 12 or 15 bucks for it but it's made of a soft, fancy feeling material. I don't know what this is, but it feels fancy, therefore I'm going to assume it is fancy. And um, I got this in a size 20. It has really nice kind of flouncy sleeves at the bottom too. Love it. Then I got another pair of Katie neoprene pants. I tried these on the last Eloquai haul I had, link down below should you want to watch it. Um, I just love the pattern. I thought with that white shirt, it would be really, really cute and just bring everything to life. So this was, as you can see, the pattern up front is very like hip. I'm a cool girl wearing cool dress pants. So I'm very excited about that. Now for the dress that I stocked online. See, this was showed up in the coming soon section. I don't know if you can see how fabulous the print is through. Let's talk about why I love this. First, it's so unique. I've never seen anything like this from a plus size retailer ever. Two, it's got my favorite color orange in it, and not in an annoying way, but in a beautifully artistic way, and duh, it's amazing. Three, necktie. I love a good necktie. They're all on trend this season, and generally, I just love it, and it's even a contrasting print. Oh, print on print, it's my thing. And four, it's long, which means I'm not gonna have to worry about this transitioning well into fall or covering myself up, so if I'm at a day meeting or a professional piece, I can wear this and really be professional but really stand out as well. So I'm obsessed. I stock this every day until it came online, and as soon as it came online, I purchased it within minutes of it being available on the site. Like the little email came that says, your waitlist item is now available, and I was like, click, 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 purchase mine. Because I just had to have it, I'm so obsessed with it. Then, it's no like, secret that I'm really into plaid. And when I saw this plaid skirt on clearance, I was like, why is this on clearance? This is amazing. So it's a red and navy plaid. Really simple, you know, nothing complex. And it has, you know, a midi length. So it's quite covering. And this thing was like dirt cheap. It's got a really cute zipper down the back, nice little elastic to keep you comfortable. I got this in a size 20 because my waist tends to be much smaller than my hips. 
and I'm super excited about it because it just adds to my plaid collection, which is pretty much what I'm just doing now. Just buying plaid on plaid on plaid so I could just live a life of tartan. You know, someday it's just gonna devolve to me only in plaid, talking about oh, good old days. You know, whatever. So the last piece I actually got gifted to me by Illiquette, I did not know they were gonna give me anything. I had been looking at this jacket and I'd already bought all of these other pieces. So <laughs> I'd already purchased everything that I rationally knew I needed. But I had been looking at this Gold May quilted jacket forever. And, but I couldn't rationalize it. I couldn't say to myself like, okay, you need this. Like I already have some ridiculous jackets. I already have some loud outspoken things. Like you don't technically need this. It's not a like item you have to have in your wardrobe. And then when they said they were gonna gift me an item, I was like, um, I'm gonna take that gold lame jacket, you know, the one that's like MC Hammer if he was stylish and cool. So I'm obsessed with this. It's an open jacket down the center. I believe I got a size 20 and ah, oh, dreams come true. And yeah, dreams come true. It looked like I made my fashion dreams come true. So of all the items that I'm gonna show you guys today, this is the only item that's gifted. I like to let you guys know when I receive things because I'm not about like lying to you and pretending like, oh, I didn't get any of this. I spent all of my money. I did spend all of my money on this. This was all legitimately purchased by moi. This was gifted by them. Okay, now I'm gonna get to trying these things on. I'll see you in a few looking really fly. Woo, 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 woo. So the first thing I'm trying on is that orange eloquy dress that we talked about with the off the shoulder cut, the waist tie that comes around actually from a sewn area in the back. So it is not removable. You're gonna have to tie it. Uh, here are my initial thoughts on it. It's a little bit smaller in the hips than I would like. The arm here is a little bit weird uh, because I want it to come down like that and be a very dramatic, but it seems to want to fall right at the shoulder. So I think that's maybe how it's supposed to be cut. I just, I don't know. <laughs> that said, I love the color and I think it does look really good on me. Now again, it is a little bit tighter here through the thighs. So I probably would wear some dark tights underneath it. Maybe even leggings just in case it does the creep a leap up. But other than that, I think it's a really great dress. I'll give you a turn, boom. And um, I love the way that I feel and look in it. Like this is a color that I really love and adore. Um, and I think it's a, it's a good buy. I wouldn't say it's something that is like a dream fit, but I like it. I like the way my face kind of lights up when I wear colors like this. I like the simple cut. And I think I'd probably, like I said, end up wearing it more like a tunic than a dress because it is a little bit tight in the booty. And that means it's gonna do the creepy leap up. So it is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna try on the next piece. So I've talked about this before in videos, but some pieces are just made for you and they're special and they're something you'll keep forever. And this dress, oh, this dress, it is 100% one of those pieces. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with the way it fits. I'm obsessed with the colors. I'm obsessed with this necktie. Everything is mm, 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 spot on. It's amazing. And when I twirl, I get that amazing flip out skirt that we all just want to have all the time. I guess I like anything that takes, whoa, oh, I'm really dizzy. I like anything that takes a childlike aspect and incorporates it into something very adult. And that's what I feel this dress does. I just, I love how playful it is. And I think that I really wish more plus designers played with amazing prints because I think there are women like me who really want to wear them and we get so few options that when something like this comes along, I guess I just get really excited and really, you know, just tickled pink that exists. Now the dress is pleated from the kind of chest area down. It's really cute because it goes from like an orange down to a pink and then down to a blue. And what's interesting is this detail color actually shifts from a light blue to actually a seafoam green as we get down. It's a polyesterish feel. So I'm guessing it's a polyester dress. It is very lightweight. So in the fall, you will need a cardigan or a coat over it. It probably would not hold up in the winter months. It'd be very cold. But um, yeah, it's really cute. I feel like I'm gonna teach a lesson. Like I miss Frizzle in like 2016. Right on the magic school bus. Na 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 na. Ooh. <laughs> now I have this skirt from Ilkwai paired with the kind of lightweight white blouse thing with the tie. 
which I'm dying now because I forgot to do. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, the skirt is great. I'm wearing a size 20, which was a really smart choice. It flares out quite a lot. So if you are smaller in the waist, size down. Um, Cause it's gonna be too big around this area if you size up or if you wear like, I typically wear between the 20 and 22. So anytime I see anything that flares out from them, I typically go for a 20 cause I know it will fit me right around the waist and I'll make a nice you know, line, especially with this kind of look where I'm doing a tucked in shirt and I'm trying to accentuate my small waist. So the skirt itself is great. It is a nice flannel texture. It's definitely heavier. It is definitely a fall slash winter skirt. It is not for the summer. I would sweat to death wearing this right now. But I love this little detail on the back. The zipper right down the back is just a fun way to add a little extra pizzazz to a skirt. I also just like that dress. Love that it has a nice twirl to it because who doesn't want to twirl? Um, if the sleeves as well are giving me very like gone with the wind feeling or like I'm in the sound of music. The heels are alive with the sound of clothing. Oh. I love it. I think it's really cute. I probably wouldn't wear these things together. I think together they look, let's be real here, a little bit too much like my choir teacher, but separately they could be super adorable. And I'm actually gonna keep this top on when I try on the pants over here. And I think it will look really great and definitely have the more modern feel that I know this shirt has potential for. And as the skirt goes, I think with a really sweet t-shirt or even like a black turtleneck and a thick chunky belt, this would be an amazing piece to have. So I'm very pleased with both of them. I'm pleased with the fit. And I think they were great catches from a super clearance sale. If they are still available, the links will be down below. If not, I'll try to link to something similar, but these were so cheap that I couldn't pass them by and I'm so glad I purchased them because they both fit just amazingly well. So now I'm wearing the black kind of graffiti print, print pants. And the first thing I will note is I have mixed feelings about these pants. I love the pattern. They're really comfortable, but it is a dark print printed on a light base. Which means when you print a dark fabric color onto a light pant, if it's stretch, anywhere that fabric is stretching, you're gonna get some lightness in the print. So right here in my legs, you can see that the print is lighter than it is, say, down here at the bottom of my leg. Now, it doesn't bother me too much when I go out at night, people don't even notice it. That said, <laughs> there's a lot of stretch right here. Um, that said, when you go out during the day, it is kind of noticeable. So. I think uh, for this pant I would size up, but I would worry about whether they would fit my waist appropriately because I'm basically buying a pants to size up so that they don't stretch, but then that waist that fits me really well right now might be a little bit too big. So I think it's a catch-22 right now with this fit. I hope that Illinois does some things in the future to make some fits for girls that are super pair because when you are a super pair, you're always gonna have stretch like right in here. And you're always gonna be really small right here. So that like stretch of the fabric, it's like your curse. There's my thigh. It's like a like a public service announcement. She has big thighs. Look at her big thighs. The fabric is stretching. And while I do like my uh, booty and thighs, I'm not hating towards them, I don't necessarily want to advertise that they're beyond the normal size of the pants. So whatever it might be, I'm a little catch-22 on these pants because I don't know how I would buy them to fit properly. So that's a little bit of a, a kind of a bummer. Now on top of this, I'm just gonna make this, I'm gonna make this outfit amazing. Oh, it's come on, get free. Uh, all I wanna do is put this jacket on and be like, oh, 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 have a time. Mm if you are thinking of mc camera where everything that was amazing about the 90s wearing this jacket then i don't know who you are i literally think like you're ready to rumble my job i love it i don't even care if it looks good looks crappy looks amazing i love it i think it's so chic so cool I just want a photo of me standing like this I need to get some like amazing thing printed on the back. I don't know, I'm in love with it. This is my new statement piece. I'm gonna wear it all the time. Love for this gold jacket. Now it's a, 
It kind of feels like a plant fabric that's been coated in gold. That's my guess. And it's quilted. Quilting, see the quilting. So it's got a nice texture to it. It's very warm. <laughs> so definitely not for the Texas weather. Nope. But it's awesome, so who cares? So <laughs> maybe sometimes I'll just wear it alone at home on a Friday night, eating a pint of ice cream and thinking about how life would be better if I wasn't single forever. But hey, 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 hey. No judgment because I have a gold jacket and that makes me pretty dang cool. So I'm wearing my last item. I just took that tunic, threw it over these pants. It's okay. I'll be really honest, I'm not super excited about this piece. I like the color. The color looks good on me. I know that. Blue's my deal. But it's really tight on the booty. Ooh. But it's a great color. I would definitely belt it because I think, like, this just needs a belt. I was looking to see if I had a belt that I could just, oh, here's something. I don't even know what this is, but I'm pulling, ooh. Get out of here, belt. I don't know what this is, but just pulled it out of my laundry. Oh, I think it's my bathrobe, whatever. Whatever it might be, I'm just tying it to give you guys an idea of how a belt would make this look better. Belts, the international accessory for pear shapes. Seriously, 95% of things that don't look good on a pear can be fixed by adding a belt. Now, this is not the most grand solution here, but I think by just adding the belt, we've added some definition at the waist, and all of a sudden the shirt looks a lot better. Um, so it's not terrible, it's just not great. I'm not in love with it. I think it's one of those weird things where it's like kind of way too big up here, like could fit a small family in here. Well, rather than being a storage unit, I really wish, you know, it wasn't such a sad display for the boobalas. <laughs> At least they can breathe. At least they can breathe. So there you go. There are all the items I got from Iloquai. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, you can clicky click that subscribe button. Any questions you have, leave them down below. And as always, the items are linked down in the description because I care about your shopping accessibility. Hopefully it's not torrentially downpouring where you live like it is where I live so you can actually go outside and have some fun. But either way, have an amazing day and I'll catch you later. Peace.